much, Mr. Matzel, and joining us this morning, our wise guy in the studio with us. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so from the University of Illinois, you're going to tell us about Invisible Ink. Right. I got a question a couple of weeks ago from Melissa about how Invisible Ink works. And I had to think back to when I was a kid because then what we would do is you would have some ways of, you know, sh having secret messages and you yeah. could write with lemon juice or milk on a piece of paper and then you would get your mom to put the iron on it and it would heat up and then you could ver sort of faintly see because it changed color just a little bit. Mm -hmm. You can do way better than that now, it turns All out. Right. Okay. Show so us what we got. <clears throat> right. So uh, first let me just show you regular writing, which is what I have right here. And so if you just have something that's, that says, uh, you know, go align eye in, in blue and underlined in red. The reason you can read this at all is because the light that hits it behaves differently where the pen has been compared to where the pen hasn't been. So where there's a red line, for example, the white light from the lights in this room, which has all the colors in it, um, that red paint or that red uh, marker absorbs all the colors except for red and it reflects the red. So you see red. That's okay. how that works. Okay. So <clears throat> what you want is some way to have something that you can't see under normal lights that doesn't uh -huh. make any difference, but then perhaps you can see it if you do something special. So th what you can do is you can use something known as a black light. Okay. Okay. Yep. Mm. And uh, a black light nowadays it used to be kind of hard to get, but you can get black light real easy now. And I found them. See what this says? I do. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so th this is it says urine finder, and so what this is you can buy it at a pet store if you're oh. worried that your cat is oh. spotting on the floor, and it turns out that that cat pee is kind of that glows in, in black light, really? so that would be a good ink to use, but maybe a little smelly. <laughs> but there's something better you can okay. use. So there's lots of materials that actually fluoresce. Uh, if you shine a black light on them. And the way this works is that black light is, is a, it's an ultraviolet light is what it really is. It's very high energy light and it's absorbed by the chemicals in the material that, or the, the ink that you use to write. And that ink then emits it at a short or at a, at a lower frequency so you okay. can see it in the visible. And so for okay. example, you can buy these little markers and if we could just shut the lights off, I'll show you what I mean by this. Um, <coughs> so I, I've written on them with a marker on this piece of paper. You can't see anything. There we go. But now, when I shine the light on this thing, oh. you, you oh, can see you where I wrote on it. And so, but you don't want to have to go buy a marker. So instead, you can just go get some laundry detergent. So what I have right here in this little cup is just uh, laundry detergent that I just got oh. at, at the IGA. Cool. And then you can use this stuff to paint on paper. So if I just do that right here, I'm just going to slop this on this piece of oh. paper that's right here. And now you see it's completely invisible if I just shine the regular flashlight on it. You want to do that, Drew? Well, it's yeah. a little gloopy right now, so you can see the gloop. But if you, once it dries, you can't see it, but you can see it perfectly. Let's see, where should I, there we go. Over there. There, yeah. there, okay. So when I, I shine this other black light on it, you can, it glows nice and blue. It's fantastic, okay? There and so go. it's a little hard to see with that black light. Let me try this one. Okay, here we go. That's a little oh, easier yeah, to see. see it. So you, it suddenly reveals there where the go. ink That's is. There we go, okay? And uh, if you turn the lights on now, okay, you'll see, in fact, well, all right, so that, it's a little, it's, you can see it because it's just like, <laughs> so I made a mess of it. But what I'd have here is just, if you're kind of careful about it so you don't make a gloopy mess, what I have here is just a, a sheet of paper towel that I just put a couple of spots on. So here, if I, wonder if I can do this. Oh. So it shows up really nicely. Maybe you could dim the oh, lights yeah. one more time, Al. I can really see that well. Yeah. So here, uh, you can't see it with the lights on. It's completely invisible. Here We're we putting go. Al to work today. <laughs> there we go. That, that's good. Okay. There we go. Now Look at that. that. That's really cool. Okay. It glows like anybody's business. Huh. And so, and it, it's very nice. If you want to just grab this, here, take the, uh, take this thing. Uh -huh. I'm going to shine it, take, dip it in there. Just write something on there with it down below. There you go. You see how that shows up? Okay. That's huh. where you just wrote. It's a okay. Furry. So. <coughs> <laughs> oh, that's all right. It's a little hard to s There we go. Okay. So anyways, if we get the lights back on, sorry, I'll to make you run around like this. <laughs> we'll explain this a little better. Because now, once the lights are on, there's nothing on this piece of paper. You really can't see anything now, right? It's pretty that's invisible. Crazy. So it's kind of neat. And so we're just using something that's already in your house, this laundry detergent. It's uh -huh. just, it's, you know, stuff that everybody has, basically. And that stuff glows in, in black light. And so you can cool. use it as an ink. <coughs> And if we have a second, I can tell you something fascinating about this stuff. Yeah. Because the way this stuff works, right, laundry detergent is supposed to brighten your clothes. Mm -hmm. So what they do nowadays is they put this fluorescent material in it. It glows blue. And blue makes things that are kind of dingy. If it's kind of yellowy, 
that's what dinge usually is, a kind of sure, yellowy. Sure. If you mix a little blue in with that, it kind of takes out, it compensates for the dinginess and it looks clean, even oh. though of course oh. it's not. And so things will look new uh, if you put in a slightly sort of fluorescent blue color into your clothes. No so, if, so that's why whites look <laughs> so nice some and shiny. Lights in here. Right. <laughs> right. All right, Matt, thanks so much. And if you want to ask Matt to any questions, head to our Facebook page. You can ask them there and he will answer them the next time he is back with us. More of the morning show next. You're watching your new